Okay, good evening everyone. As we are sponsored by AB, wishing him a very, very safe trip to Eretz Yisrael. Uh, sponsored for Nachas from his entire wonderful family. We're sponsored by Shom uh, Fogel, Leon Nishmas Yaakov Zeb and Yoda Aye, Rivka Bas Yaakov Yosef, Tzivya Miriam Bas God, Yosef Ben Sion Ben Yaakov Zev. We're sponsored by Baruch Ian. Lili Nishmas, Yaakov Chai Ben Abba, Esther Bas Gitl, Abraham Ben Shmuel HaKoyen, by Ed Sala from London, and Joshua Rosenberg, by Yaakov Yumanski, with HaKar Satoyv to the Rav and the Zoom family, and Nachos from children and grandchildren. And we uh, begin uh, the uh, Shir with a big Mazel Tov to Saba, on the birth of an Er Enekel in Eretz Yisrael. Shabbi Zeichel HaKnisa, Labrisa Shal Avram Avinu Bizmanai, uh, we we are uh, welcoming in Dr. Black, Michal, Barachian, Yitzfuks, Aaron Swade, Saba, Menachem Yumansky, Ben Sien Cohn, A.B. Spry, Irving Fishbaum, Marshall Castle, Mel Zachter, uh, Shalom Fogel, Shimon Klein, Mark Frankel, and Bruce Eisenberg, Stephen Holtzman, Chaim Kramer, Mo Kushner, uh, Nachman Chapel, Na, Chapler, Barish Gesserman, Moshe Lehman, Ilya Shutman, Avi, Avram Rezepkowitz, Yitzi Muller, Eva Arbach, Rabbi Kranz, and uh, here in the shul we have Gedalia Engel back in his post, Rich Lenner, uh, Michal Avram, and uh, Ruvain Shannet. Uh, we are holding the uh, on on Daf uh, Tzadik Vav Omid Beis. Mamish on the bottom line. So the Gemara says, uh, If it's, you put in three cups, and you get more than three cups as you pour it on the lees, on the shmarim, making mead, if you decant more than you put in, is there an argument? Is there an argument? But Hametamed, if you make this mead mixture by pouring wines on the leaves of the, uh, pouring water on the leaves of the wine. Venos and mayim bemida. And you, let's say you put in three cups. And it comes out, you decant uh, three cups, uh, not more than what you put in. Potter, you're exempt from a miser. Rabbi Yehuda Machayim. Rabbi Yehuda says it's Chayim because the, the leaves absorb water and wine comes out. But I'd kind of like They only argue when it uh, comes out the same as what you put in. You put in three and it comes out three. But if it's more than that, like Pligi, everybody would agree that you're chai of Meiser, which is not like Rava, who says that we you decant uh, 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 more, it's still not considered wine in certain circumstances. So says the Gemara, uh, no. Who adin da'afilu b'yoysim michdei midasei pligi? The truth of the matter is, is that they argue whether it's chayiv in Meiser, even if there comes out more. And that which they argue where it comes out the same amount, you put in three cups and it comes out three cups, is to tell you the Kiddush of Rabbi Yehuda that even over there, Rabbi Yehuda says it has a din that it's chayiv in Meiser. Rav Nachba Yitzchak inquires of Rav Chia Bar Avin, Shmorim Sheyesh Bam Tam Yayin. If you put water into the lees, and when you taste it, it has the taste of wine. It 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 it, it has uh, the, the 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 taste of wine. Mahu. Uh, again, we're going at now the question as we welcome in Avram Shankman. And we welcome in Dr. Guy for our 30th Zoomer of the evening. Excuse me, I didn't realize somebody else slipped in over here. The 31st Zoomer of the evening. Um, 
So what's the din? What bracha do we make? So he said, uh, it, it, and here we're talking about that the mixture is less than three and a half cups. In other words, uh, the the the. Uh, the was less than a half a cup. Yeah, the Gemara, I know, I know that Rajbam says that the, the, the Gem, we're saying that he didn't hear what the uh, Achayim are talking about. So yeah, it's talking about the same case as the Achayim. The yield was three and a half. Put in, put in three, and the yield was three and a half. Right? Because the, the Rajbam says... So it's talking about the case that we're talking, we talked about, where you put in three cups, and the yield was three and a half cups. So what's the bracha? So he answered him, Amalei, me suffered chamru. You think that that's considered wine? Kiyua baumahu. It's only like an uh, acid water, and you only make a shak on the Tan Rabbanan, Shmorim Shel Truma, Lees of Truma. That means that you pour water onto Lees that is Truma. Now the question is, the liquid that produces, is it forbidden to a non kain So Rishain Vishaini Asr, the first water that you pour on the Lees, and the second water that you pour on the Lees. You decant it once, and then you decant it a second time. Both of those uh, drinks are also are forbidden to a non kain Ushlishi, the third uh, uh, time you pour water on it, that's permitted. That already doesn't have a din of truma. Rameirim, Rameirim, more machmer. Rameirim, af shlishi in tam. It even the third water that you pour on it, if it tastes like wine, it has a din of truma. By Truma, we're Machmer even the third time. Vishel Meiser, and here we're talking about Meiser Shani. Vishel Meiser, Rishain Aser, the first time you pour on it, it's Aser. Shani Mutter, the second time you could already have it outside of Yerushalayim. Rameir, I'm a Rameir is more Machmer. Rameir, I'm a Af Shani Benaisen Tam. Even the second time you pour on it, if it tastes like wine, you can't eat it outside of Yerushalayim. Now, so, so by, by Truma, it's a machloikis if it's two times or three times. By Maishasheni, it's a machloikis if it's one time or two times. Vishel Hegdish, oh, now you're talking about heavy duty stuff. Vishel Hegdish, Shlishi Asa, the third time is Asa. Ravi Mutter, the fourth time is Mutter. Rameir, I'm Af Ravi, but even the fourth time is Asa. So now the Gemara is going to ask a contradiction. I want to remind everybody, let's get our money's worth over here, that we're learning to be Mekayim in the mitzvah of a Dibar Tabam, learning Lishma as we welcome, welcome in Sandy Grunfeld, and uh, we learn that uh, the Rabbi Nishalayim, first of all, first of all, the Rabbi Nishalayim should see that this is what we want to use our time for. And therefore, he should give us untroubled time, Menuchas nefesh next year that we should learn trouble-free learning. Um, now, Raminu, shall hektish la'aylam asr. Now that's fair. Even Rameus said that only the fourth time, the fifth time is mutter. And uh, the, the, the Rabbanon say, even the even the fourth time is mutter. And here it says, no matter how many times you pour on Hegdish, it's always awesome. While the Shomaiser, Loyla Mutter, is always mutter. Now, we, we, everybody said the first time was awesome, and the question was only about the second time. And here it says, Maiser, even the first time you pour onto it, you could have it outside of your Shalim. What's going on? So kasha hektish a hektish kasha ma'isa ma'isa. There's kasha hektish on hektish. There's a kasha ma'isa ma'isa. 
So hektish, hektish, like kash, is different classifications of hektish. Kan bekedush saguf. One is talking about uh, stuff that was dedicated to the temple. For example, if it was dedicated for nisachim. So if it's dedicated for nisachim, for libations, that has an intrinsic holiness. That's always awesome, no matter how many times. Kan bekedush damim where you dedicated the value of the lees, that you're going to use it for better kabayas, for temple maintenance, so it only has monetary kedusha, that's less stringent. Maiser ha-maiser nami loy kasha. Maiser ha-maiser is also not difficult. Kan ma-maiser vada. Where do we say that maiser the first time, or a coin to a the second time, is also, that's definite maiser. Where we say that it's permitted right away, kamba maiser demai, that's maiser that you're only taking off because you bought it from an ama oritz. Continues the Gemara. Amr Rab Yaichnin, Mishum Rab Shim Ben Yai Tzadik, Kederech She Amru Leinian Isuran, just like we said by uh, Isser, Kach Amru Leinian Hech Sheiran. So whether it's classified as water or as wine, to render something susceptible to contamination, because when you put uh, food stuff is not susceptible to contamination until it's moistened. So whether it has a classification of wine or water it, vis-a-vis hechsher would also depend on what we said earlier. So for example, uh, 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 according to the Rabbanon, uh, the first two times would, it would be considered wine uh, by Chuma, the a third time, it would be considered water. Uh, by uh, Meiser, Shani, the first time would be considered wine. The second time would be considered water. So the Gemara doesn't understand. I mean, when the din is that uh, food stuff is rendered susceptible to contamination by one of the seven liquids, uh, there's a... There's a there's a simon for the seven liquids, yad shochat dam. So that's yad is yayin, dvash, shochat is shemen, cholov, tal, uh, and the dalid is, uh, one second, yad shochat dam, the, the dalid, the second dalid is, uh, huh? What? No, I said Dvash already. It's Dam. No. Yeah, second dollar is Dam, Ruvain, and the Mem is Mayim. So both Mayim and Yayin uh, render it susceptible. So what's the difference if it's water or wine? Hechsheri Namai. Either Maya Hechsheri Machsheri. What's the difference? If it's water, it's going to render it susceptible. Either Chamra Hechsheri Machsheri. Whether it's wine, it's going to render it susceptible. Ah, says the Gemara. <laughs> This is such a clever answer. It's talking about where the water that rendered it mead is rainwater. Now the din is, is that water only renders something susceptible if you had in mind either to put it on the food or you wanted it, you desired it earlier. So, for example, if you put out a dish for the rainwater to wash, so then that's rainwater that you desired. If water just collected in a bowl, then that's not yet re- something you desired, and if that water would then accidentally get on food, it wouldn't render the food susceptible to tumor. Wine, however, whether you wanted it or not, would render it susceptible to tum. But the Gemara says, the came in the shock of Rami Lulamana, the Gemara assumes that you took the rainwater and you put it on the wine. If you took the rainwater and put it on the wine, then you showed you desired it. Achshavinu, you made it important. Says the Gemara, 
it's talking about where the rainwater went on the wine by itself, on the leaves by itself. Says the Gemara, yeah, but when you decanted it, because it says the difference is if it's the first time, the second time, the third time, if you decanted it, you showed that you wanted it. Since you're decanting it, you're showing Achshavinu that you want it. Says, no, it's talking about where a cow drank it. So the, a cow drank it, that's how it got decanted, so that doesn't show that you wanted it. Says the Gemara, I'm a Republican, but Parish is a region region. So it the, can, it, the cow drank the first two times, and then the rain weather fo- fell in the third time by itself. So if the third time has a din of water, it won't render it susceptible. If it has a din of, of uh, wine, it will render susceptible. What, a, what, a, what an interesting <laughs> piece of Gemara. I'm a Rav. I'm a Rav. Now we're going to learn about Kiddush. Very interesting discussion about Kiddush. Most Rishonim learned that this is talking about Kiddush only Friday night. So I'm a Rav. Zutra about Tovya. I'm a Rav. Ain't I'm in Kiddush Ayayim? We only say Kiddush El Alayayin Aroyin Lenasech Al Gabei Mizbech. Only wine that's fit to offer as a libation on the Mizbech. So the Gemara asks, what, what is that coming to exclude? Lemute mai, what's that coming to exclude? Ilay malemute yayin megitai, if it's coming to exclude wine fresh from the vat that didn't ferment yet, in other words, grape juice. But grape juice is good for libations. Vatani rebchia, yayin megitai lo yavi, it's not good l'chadchila. But vimhevi kosher. But if you do bring it, it is kosher. And anything that's even b'diavid by nesachim is kosher l'chadchila by kiddush. Lo yavi vimhevi kosher. Vikaven the imhevi kosher. Since if you brought it already b'diavid, it would be kosher for nesachim. Anana filu l'chadchila nami for kiddush. It would be good even l'chadchila. Dama rava, as rava said, soichik adam eshkol shel anavim. If a person squeezes a cluster of grapes, so I'm a love kiddush. Seichet adam, not if. Seichet adam eshkul shalanavim. A person could squeeze a cluster of grapes. Va'im a love kiddush ayayim. So it can't be becoming to exclude grape juice. Ve'alam lemute mepia umishuleha. It's coming to exclude the wine at the mouth of the cask, which has like some whitish yeast or mold. And the wine at the bottom of the cask, which has sediment. But that can't be either, because you shouldn't bring from the mouth that has the, the yeast, the mold, and from the bottom that has sediment. But but kosher. If you bring it, it's kosher for the sachem. And if it's kosher for the sachem, then it's good for kiddush. Velamute yayin kushi, black wine, boyrek, white wine, hilis, hilisit, hilisutin, uh, sun sweetened uh, uh, wine, shall the, the wine of the cellar that is beginning to turn, and shall tsimukim, and of raisins. Um, uh, Rajbam says the wine of the martav, uh, which is not checked. And therefore, it might have been going to turn, uh, says the Gemara. But that's not true because all of those vatanya bekulan lo yavi you shouldn't bring from it, but bimhevi kosher. And once it's good with the evet for nesachim, it's good even lechatkila for kiddush. Ve'alam uta yayin kaisis. It's coming to exclude the wine that's sold at the store which is only good for immediate use, and, and it has already a vinegary odor. Um, mozuk, wine that's uh, mixed with water. Megula, wine that was left uncovered, so a snake could have gotten to it. Vishal shmarim, wine that water was poured on lees. Vishirei chayra, and it has an odor. The tanya bekulon lo yavi. All of these you shouldn't use. Vim heavy puzzle. So the Gemara says, okay, let's analyze this. You're saying that this is not good. Since it's not good for Nesachim, it's not good for Kiddush. Lemute mai. 
Ilamu take cases where it has a uh, odor of vig- vinegar and a taste of wine. Plukta de Rabbi Yechon and Rabbi Shur ben Levi. It's a machlokes Rabbi Yechon and Rabbi Shur ben Levi. According to Rabbi Yechon, it's regular wine, and then it would be good. And according to Rabbi Shur ben Levi, you don't even make a bar priya So what do we, you don't have to say that you can't use it for kiddush. You don't. You can't even make a bar priya on it. And ilam yute mazug, where it's mixed with water, for kiddush that's a benefit. Iluye alye, Dhamma Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Khalina Maid Bhakam Rabalaza Bakaisha Bracha. The Rabana agreed to Rabbi Yaza that but the Kais would make Kiddush on. Shaim of Arkhanlov, we don't make uh, a bracha at Shiitan Lasaikha Mayan until you mix it with water. So for Kiddush, it's advantageous to mix it with water. Ilamute Megula, that's not a shail of Kiddush. You can't drink it at all. Sakani, so that's not a din in Kiddush, that's a Sakani because a snake might have drank from it. And Ilam Ute Shel Shmarim, where you pour leaves on it, Hechidami. Either Ramatlas of Asaba, if you put in three and you decanted uh, four, that's regular wine. Chamramalyu, E, the Ramatlas of Asatlas, everybody agrees that's water. Uh, oh no, E, the Ramatlas of Asatlas of Palga, if you put in three and you got three and a half, so that's a Machlaikis. Pluck to the Rabbanon Vachemu. According to the Rabbanon, uh, it, it, it's not even wine. It's merely a shahako. So, of course, it's no good for Kiddush. According to the Achemu, it's good wine. El Ute Shirei Chayra. It must be coming to ex- exclude the case where it has a bad odor. If it has a bad odor, it's no good for Nesachim and it's no good for Kiddush. Viba Yisei Malayim Ute Megula where it was left uncovered. Now, where it's left uncovered, there's an eitzel. You could strain it so that if there's venom, you get out the venom. But something like that is not nice to give to someone. You don't give to a hush of a person wine that there might have been venom in it. The afagav, the avrei b'mesanenes, even though you passed it through a strainer, Kareb Nechemia. It's like Reb Nechemia, uh, uh, Kareb Nechemia, who says that you could pass it through a strainer. Afilu Achi, you don't serve it to your governor. Hakriveinu la lefachasecha, would you offer this to the, your governor? Hayirtsecha, would he then accept you? O Ayisa Panecha, will you find favor by him? Of course not. So you definitely don't give it to Nesachim, and you definitely don't use it for Kiddush. Boy mine Rav Kahana. Boy mine Rav Kahana Chamua de Rav Mishasha Mirav. Rav Kahana, the father of Rav Mishasha, asked from Rav, Chamar Chivarian Ma, what's it in with white wine? So, white wine, Amalei Altera Yayin Kiyas Adam. Don't look at wine. The, the, it, the Pasuk is warning us of the ill effects of intoxication. Altera Yayin Kiyasade. So we see that preferable wine is red. Now we said Kankan and Bisharon, when you buy casks made from Sharon, where they manufacture the clay, you have to accept ten pitocytes amongst the hundred. You have to accept ten inferior casks. What are pitocytes? Ton of pitocytes are nice, they're good casks, but they're cracked. Omegufaros, and they are sealed with sulfur. Of course, when they're cracked and sealed with sulfur, they don't last as good as the, the other ones. So you have to accept 10 of those sulfur sealed of 100. We're just going to pause a minute, Rabbi Isai, to change the channel over here.